Hi, everybody. Welcome to Virtual Artisan Market, or as we like to call it, VAM. VAM is a modern twist on your everyday favorite artisan market. Each week we bring to you in the comfort, convenience, and safety of your home, a curated group of highly talented artisans. So I'm going to be so excited to tell you about our first artisan. This is just, he's just so amazing, and I'm the biggest fan of his. Imagine getting married at a beautiful lighthouse in Maine. And I'm going to read this right from the script. That magical experience gave Alan Claude the idea to create quality prints of the New England coast. Inspired by bold poster style graphics from the 20s and 30s, mixed in with a little Edward Hopper, a heap of drama, and a teaspoon of serenity, the graphic art of Alan Claude calmly reflects the beauty of Maine and New England lighthouses. Get ready to experience stunning vintage retro art images of everyday moments on the coast. To your home, Aaron and I got married at a lighthouse and that's what gave me the idea to create coastal art of New England. Almost everything is made right here in my studio. From coasters, to calendars, to note cards, to prints that you could frame yourself or we could do it for you. I use high quality wood frames with a laminate. It's a shield that protects the art, water resistant, lightweight, and best of all, has no glare. So you could enjoy the art in any room at any time. Well, uh, that's a little bit about me, what I do as a, in a general sense. And um, like Lori said, I've been um, uh, doing lighthouse art for, well, I got married at a lighthouse, my wife and I did. And uh, it's been uh, awesome to create art, be inspired to travel around New England and um, to view um, just the, the treasures of New England, really, and try to capture that on uh, as, as an art piece. So. Um, and people seem to appreciate. I mean, it's all about memories, uh, what we want to do in, in life. And then you create memories by uh, visiting the coast of New England. But I want to ask you a question. Like, you have a, such a process in creating your artwork. Tell us what it's like to um, make your beautiful artwork. Well, I go and take lots of pictures and um, put together the idea. It's all about composition in the end. So my photography is not really good. So it's more of a... Uh, a reference piece so um, sometimes it's video too I just take my video camera and I just take if I see some boats out there or in this case I'll show you this if you could share my screen again here are you on there okay so this is an Acadia last August my kid was doing some school work up there so this is just people walking around you know I'm just I'm like oh this is cute you know but see that was just half a second right so that was my basis of my next of my print. Now, I, I never I don't know what I'm doing. I just like, oh, I, I kind of like that was very sweet. Those guys there, you know, let's go over here. OK, so I, I draw it on a big screen like this. You see, I have a, a giant iPad. And it's a, basically a, a pen that creates whatever shape I want it to be. If I take a pen and I, I could just make shapes whatever I want, I could close them up and then I could change the color, you know, I could, it's a, just like, you know, 160 years ago or 200 years ago, someone came up with a, well, more than that, a thousand years ago, somebody came up with a paintbrush. Um, I said, what are you doing? I'm taking horse hair and I'm putting on a stick and this allows me more control. I could do a lot more things than just with my fingers. Um, it's technology being used. So, the computer is technology, just like a paintbrush was back in the day when that was a revolutionary thing. But it really allows you to change the shapes. Like, let's say if I, once I draw something, I could change the colors. Um, let's say I want it to be, um, you know, a black sky, or this is the other way. Okay, let's see. I want to change the color to another, you know, a darker blue. I could see that instantly. And when you do traditional painting, you're, you're kind of stuck. You kind of have to take a chance and that's it. So it just allows me to have more, 
to be imperfect. So these are just pieces of, of shapes, you know, that I could change the colors and I put together kind of like a little puzzle sort of. And it just allows me to um, more freedom. And I could, this boat right here is grouped together and I could scale it. I can make the layout smaller or the boat bigger. You know, I could zoom into this person here. You know, it just a, it's just a neat way of working. I was doing graphic design for many years and I just said I to myself, so I am an artist and, and I should be doing art, my own art because as a graphic artist, you're working for other people and you don't really always do, could do your own um, creation. So you're kind of guided by other people. So anyway, took me two and a half years to do the first six lighthouses uh, of, of Maine. Uh, that getting married at the lighthouse inspired me to create um, the lighthouse series. And I'll just show you the first six right here. So this piece, these six lighthouses took me two and a half years to do. I just wanted the lighthouse. I, I love all those travel posters from 20s and 30s. And I wanted to create my own version of that. And uh, it took me another like three to six months to create my own lettering. But um, it, I, you know, I always encourage people to take the time to create your craft and, you know, you're going to spend, they say 10,000 hours to create something great. And, um, the more you do, the better you learn. You know, if you're always if you're trying to be honest with yourself, don't let your ego get in the way and just try to be, um, always trying to grow. Um, and so from there, I just thought of like what people want as far as sizes what's a common shape for a frame. And then uh, I have a unique process where I laminate the art, just like a driver's license laminated. The art's protected, but it doesn't require glass. So glass breaks, but you know, it gets messy. So it's a, I have a nice way of framing things. Um, so it's really a combination of uh, technology and your human artistry that makes it so special, isn't it? Yeah, I think it, people are scared of technology, but just like a, the simplest way of saying it, it's like a paintbrush. That's technology. And, you know, were you afraid of a, of two, a paintbrush, you know? Uh, I think it really could gives you... Sometimes, um, you know, art takes a lot of patience. Anything takes a lot of patience. This gives you more of a, not a handicap, it just gives you more freedom to uh, mess up and correct. Um, I think a lot of people give up and say, well, I'm no good at this. You know, look, I just made this plop on the on paint on the, on the wall or canvas. And then you're stuck, you know, and then you remember that and that kind of makes it beat you down. But if you do it digitally, you could always change it around immediately. There's, you know, you could, um, you have that freedom of, of editing it. So. Would you want to take a moment and show us some images, some better images of your work, some close-up sure, images? Sure, sure. And One I just the, want to point out that this picture is not me. This is Katie Bryden. Katie is <laughs> <laughs> Katie is our behind the scenes person, and she's just wonderful. And she does all the um, the banners and such, and she's just great. But I have no idea how her picture got on where I'm supposed to be, and I'm not going to figure it out now. I'm just going to let Alan do his thing. So here you go, Alan. Okay. So um, let me uh, – can I switch my – okay, yeah. So this one right here – this is the image I was showing you earlier. And I made the picture and I added flowers, you know, uh, dandelions, and just, that was the result of that video I showed you earlier, you know? So you never know where you get your inspiration. Um, and my art is, uh, actually I'm fortunate to have the, uh, ooh, where is it at? Okay, yeah, Maine invites you. Actually, can I switch back to, uh, yeah, it made the cover of the main guide, the Bicentennial Guide, uh, and the official Adventure Guide of Maine and Map. But unfortunately, because of COVID nineteen, probably not too many people will be seeing this this magazine. But if you um, order online, um, and if it's a, we have a special going on, but um, you get a signed copy of that too, uh, and there's a map too. So if you get a tiny little thing under $20 you're not going to get this because it costs more money to ship this than the, the. so anyways you'll see uh, the details but I like to include a free copy of it online too as well 
Let me show you more art. Um, let's get back up here. So my website is pretty straightforward. Um, I have uh, coasters too. These coasters are great because they're water absorbent and um, they make great gifts. Prints of various sizes. I have very large size prints, 36 by 53. Um, let me show you this one right here. This is a new one. Big, you know, 36 by 53. We have free shipping. And I'll show you my calendar here. Can you switch back to the uh, screen? All right, let's go back to here then. Okay, there we go. So yeah, this is my 2021 calendar and all the images in here. They fit in frames like this. Um, it's like, you know, a lot of people put them in kitchens and things like this. And it's uh, you could take a, a Sharpie and you could draw on it if you want to make any notes to any dates in the calendar year. And these are my prints. I have smaller eight by 10 prints as well. And these are like $24 uh, retail with free shipping. So, um, and some note cards as well. So I sell the wholesales to LL Bean and Stonewall kitchens and a lot of small little stores and at lighthouses too, as well. And I sell online and, um, yeah, I love doing art shows because I miss the clam festival. That was such such a fun show to go to, and I miss the people, and I get ideas from the people too. And, and I know um, it's so hard as artisans. Hey, I'm back, by the way. Did you see? Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I found the right button, so I wasn't kidding when I said that this was going to be a bumpy ride. But um, yeah, as artisans, we like to we feed off the energy of people, and it's yeah. really hard for us today when we're sheltering at home. But what a great way to bring Maine inside. And a lot of people are staying home these days. They're not going out as much. And what mm. beautiful artistry to put on their walls. And uh, you have a few specials going on today for us, don't you? Yes. Uh, if you uh, buy something over $20, I'll include a free desk calendar for 2020. This is what's, uh, you know, we got six more months left. And um, what else? 20% of the sales actually goes to the Camden Library in Camden, Maine. It's a beautiful library. It needs a lot of help because of COVID. It's not, you know, it's uh, as so many other businesses have been uh, suffering because of this. Um, but I'm donating 20% of the sales. If you type in the coupon VAM, V-A-M, at checkout. Um, so you could help yourself and help someone else too. That's so generous. It's, it's so, it's like everybody wins when they, put yeah. something. I mean, they get something, uh, the libraries are suffering. They didn't, they're not getting people in. It's not going to be the same for them ever again. Well, and the Camden right. library, if you've ever been to it, it's just such a beautiful, beautiful area. Camden in general is beautiful. It, and it is. it's so generous for you as an artisan to support that when we thank you for that. Oh, my pleasure. Yeah. It's fun. It's fun to be part of everything. And we, my wife and I, we bought a couple of buildings in Gardner, Maine, and I'll show you a picture right here on my other screen here. Um, there, uh, this is my future gallery opening up next month. So if you're in the area um, in Gardner, that's near Augusta. I'll show you a little video here uh, of what it looks like right now. It's that's my work studio. That's where I'll be working on the third floor, um, and the gallery is. Um, it, it, we still got a lot of work to do, but um, it's um, coming together. So, oops, turn that Well, Alan, thank you so much. And uh, thank you again. And remember, it's um, you can visit him on Facebook at alanclaude.com. And we thank you for being here. I'm a big fan thank of you. yours. And if thank anybody you, Lori. has ever been through the uh, Portland International Jet Port, they have in probably seeing some of your artwork hanging right there on the walls. Thank you, Alan. Thank you so much, Lori, for having me on. Pleasure.